Hi guys! Today I wanted to try out something new and different and I used some bright shades on my eyelids. Shocking, right? I really like the end result and I hope you like it too. I used my Morphe 35O palette today and um, I used the orange shades in it. You don't necessarily need the 35O palette, I know it's out of stock all the time, so you can just use any orange eyeshadows you have at home. I hope you enjoy this uh, colorful spring glittery look and let me know what you want to see next week. Of course, I'm starting off by priming my eyelids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Then using my favorite transition shade from the Morphe 35O palette. We're going for a soft look here, so make sure to take your time blending all these shadows. I use a big fluffy brush from Zueva to keep everything soft and avoiding any harsh lines. Keep adding darker orange shades to your crease. That bright orange shade might look intimidating, but if you apply it gently, it looks stunning. And now, just keep blending and adding more color. For my lid, I'm first using this beautiful glittery pink orangey shade from the Morphe palette. And on top of that, I'm adding a MAC pigment called Naked. Now adding some NYX HD concealer to my under eyes to cover up my dark circles. I'm blending that out using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This one is a great affordable dupe for the beauty blender. I'm going to bake my under eyes using a loose powder. This is a great way to highlight and set your concealer. Off camera I applied the tiniest bit of eyeliner and these Red Cherry 43 lashes. I used whatever was left on my brush for my lower lash line and apply that same glittery shade from the Morphe palette on my inner corner. Now adding some bronzer, blush and of course highlight. I sprayed my highlighting brush with Fix Plus to make my highlight pop. I'm using MAX Soft and Gentle. For lips I first used Colourpop's Cookie Lippy Sticks and apply Jeffree Star I'm Nude Velour Liquid Lipstick on top to make it just a little bit lighter. Finish off with some setting spray and you are good to go. For all the products used and mentioned check my description box down below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more makeup tutorials.